All right, gentlemen, and uh, Hillary, I guess, time to rank these Easter egg songs from Call of Duty Zombies. Well, this should be a fun way to pass the time while we're stuck here on the moon. I mean, some of these songs are absolute bangers. I agree, Obama. There's nothing like slaying hordes of zombies to heavy metal songs. Uh, I don't know. I prefer my kids bop personally. I just put on Spotify while I play. Kids bop, Joe. Really? It's a whole thing, Hillary. Just ignore him. Ah, oh, shucks, guys. Don't hate because I have good musical taste. Yeah, your taste in music is about as good as your taste in zombies maps. I mean, you think Vanguard is goaded after all. Oh, dear God. I, I think I'm going to be sick. Vanguard sucks. That game didn't even have musical Easter eggs. Shut up. You guys are always hating on the Bidenator. Seriously, can we get to ranking these songs now? Thankfully, my phone has decent signal way out here in space somehow, so I'm going to play a snippet of each song before we rank them. With the exception of songs that weren't made specifically for zombies, like Ace of Spades. Not trying to get copyright struck, you know? Damn, Obama, who is your cell phone plan with that lets you get service way out here on the moon? That's on a need-to-know basis, Georgie. But uh, anyways, the first song we have on here is Undone, which was added to Knocked in Black Ops 1 for exploding all the red barrels around the map. Let's take a listen. Damn, that shit almost put me to sleep. Where were the lyrics? Not every song needs to have lyrics to be good, Joe. I think the catchy melody fits Knock perfectly and the atmosphere it was going for. It has a very foreboding and creepy feel to it. Damn Hillary out here spitting facts. I have to agree, while not a top tier song by any means, it's not bad. I think it's a solid B tier. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Sorry, Joe, I think you're outnumbered here. Uh, that's okay, I'm fine putting it there, even if it's not my cup of tea. Up next is Lullaby for a Dead Man from Verrucked, the first ever real Easter egg song where we were introduced to the amazing voice of Elena Siegman. Yeah, and it was activated in game by flushing a toilet three times, which I always found funny. Seriously, can you imagine taking a shit and then flushing your toilet just for heavy metal music to start playing out of nowhere? Thanks for that mental image, Joe. I'm just gonna play the song now. Damn, with those lyrics, you'd think this is Sleepy Joe's theme song. <laughs> Joe, wake the fuck up. Huh, oh sorry, I'm awake. Does this happen often? Only every other second. Well, excuse me, the song is called Lullaby for a Dead Man, and seeing how I was a dead man not too long ago, and my knack for falling asleep, you can't be too surprised. Jeez, Joe, way to bring up bad memories. Anyways, where are we putting this, boys? I feel it's another B tier personally. Not one of the greatest, but that, that guitar riff is iconic. Well, considering I can't make it through the damn song, it's an F tier for me. F tier? You must be on the same stuff Hunter is. But I personally find it a little boring compared to later songs. I think it's a C tier. I was thinking the same thing, George. Okay then, lower than I'd like, but we can compromise at C. Next is the one from Shinonuma. My favorite map from Vanguard. And Hillary, you were wrong. This song is on that game, so it does have music Easter eggs. Yeah, but it's only the instrumental version. They didn't even include the lyrics. Just like the rest of the game, they stripped away everything that made it amazing. Wait, this song has lyrics? Seriously, Joe, you didn't know that? Well, prepare to have your mind blown because the actual complete song blows the Vanguard version out of the water. Play that shit, Obama. Holy shit, immediate S tier. Yeah, thought you might like that one, Joe. Well, it is a certified hood classic, but I don't think it's quite S tier. I'm feeling more A tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. It reminds me of Shino Numa, which makes me throw up in my mouth a bit. That's my only gripe with the song. I'm ready to leave that map behind and never see it again. You mean like how you left behind the victims of Benghazi? Damn, George, you cooked her ass. Fuck off. That's tough talk coming from the guy who let 9-11 happen. Let's just put the one in A tier. Next is Beauty of Annihilation. 
We all know where this is going, but we can listen to it anyways. No words need to be spoken. This is an undeniable S tier. Well, actually, I think. Shut, Shut up, up Joe. Joe. Well, next up is probably the best Easter egg song ever made, 115 from Kino Der Toten. Damn, Joe, you have a good opinion for once. I mean, Kino Der Toten is the best zombies map of all time. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You two sound just like that noob Chaos X silencer. Did Donald, is that you? You're lucky I have my hands full on Earth right now. Otherwise, I'd send a horde of zombies to tear you apart for that shit opinion, Ubunga. Kino sucks. Okay, sorry, just chill. But even you can't deny Donnie 115 is a classic. It belongs in S tier. I mean, just take a listen. I can agree with you, Barry, for once. You better watch what you say, though, or I'll do something that'll make your drone strikes look like peanuts in comparison. Okay, so no complimenting Kino, got it. Next is Won't Back Down by Eminem. Honestly, I hate this rap stuff. Well, I'll be the first to admit it doesn't fit the map, like, at all. But what an L take Hillary. Even if you don't like it, Eminem is the GOAT. Yeah, this shit is awesome. I mean, Eminem even let me use Lose Yourself for a 2020 campaign ad. What a great guy. It is pretty good, but I don't think it can be put at S tier or anything. I'd say it's another B tier song, considering it wasn't made for zombies and doesn't fit the map. Well, that's much higher than I'd like to put it. That's too damn bad. You're hijacking our group anyways. You shouldn't even be here, so stop complaining. Damn, Joe. Well, next up is Abracadaver, another goaded song and an easy S tier. Let's listen. So damn beautiful. I remember the first time hearing this when I played Ascension in the White House gaming room. Yeah, I was too scared to play zombies back then when I was young, but I did love watching you play Barack. Young? Joe, you were in your 60s. Well, I'm sure to an 80-year-old man that felt like a lifetime ago. Damn right it did. Anyways, can we put Abracadabra in S tier and move on? Sure thing. And speaking of S tier, here's another banger, Not Ready to Die by Avenged Sevenfold. Damn right, Obama. This song is wicked awesome. I like how it incorporates the Black Ops Zombies theme into the bridge of the song. Gives me chills every time. I mean, these guys can tell you I love my Avenged Sevenfold. This song introduced me to the band and I'll always hold it in high regards. S tier all the way. Obunga, you always did have good taste in bands. It's a shame it won't stop me from killing you later. Geez, I think he's serious. Well, we know this is an easy S tier. Really made Call of the Dead that much more special. It's also the longest Easter egg song, if I recall correctly. Not going to argue with you there. Let's move on to Paradolia. This song I always found a bit underwhelming, to be honest. Well, Hillary, your husband must have thought your head game was underwhelming, considering he got his dick sucked by another woman in the Oval Office. You're going to keep holding L's because Paradolia is awesome. Damn, George, you went nuclear on her ass. Stop fighting, you guys. We should actually listen to the song again so we can make a proper ranking as a team. I think I'm starting to see Hillary's point. That wasn't that good. How could you, Joe? You're breaking my heart. This song is an A tier to me. Jesus, calm down, drama queen. And no, it's not. This song is like a D or C tier at best. You're crazy, Barry. I mean, that ending piano part speaks for itself. Absolute perfection. At least meet me somewhat in the middle. Oh, we'll meet you in the middle, all right. Put it in C tier, Barack. With pleasure. Screw you guys. I swear if you all say that coming home is better than Paradolia. I barely remember this song. It's so forgettable and not good. Still, I bet our families wish we were coming home soon. If we have any family left after Bill blew up the earth. Thanks for reminding us. You too will pay for the destruction you brought if we manage to fix things. Facts. Anyways, let's just listen to this song. Now, 
I mean, it's not horrible or anything, but kind of mid compared to other songs. Yeah, I agree. Can we put this shit in like D tier or something? Fine with me. Up next is another one of Barry's favorites, Nightmare. Yes, sir, another avenged sevenfold classic, easy S tier. Now, hold on a second there, Hussein. We got to talk about how insane it is to activate this song in the first place. You literally have to let the excavators breach through both tunnels at the same time and then kill yourself. What were they thinking? Wow, Joe actually made a good point. Color me surprised. Why, thank you, my ethereal friend. Look, the song is pretty good, but uh, based on the fact that you pretty much never hear it in-game, it belongs in A-tier. Wow, I think that was the most well-thought-out and articulated point I've ever heard Joe make. Well done. Huh? What did I do? Where am I? And then his dementia kicks in, rendering that point completely moot. Let's just put Nightmare in A-tier and move on. It should be an S-tier, but whatever. I agree, Obama. Since you guys are here on the moon, maybe let the excavator start up and then have Joe sacrifice himself so we can hear some Avenged Sevenfold. As much as I'd love to Donald, for one, he's our friend, even if you have forgotten that. And two, this isn't a video game. This is real life. It wouldn't work. Bruh, what the hell is this shit? Why are there four more songs for Moon on here? Oh, dear God, I forgot those shitty 8-bit songs. Oh, I love 8-bit songs. Reminds me of when I was a wee lad playing Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda on my NES. That's fine and all, Joe, but those are not suitable songs to kill zombies to. I know, I had to suffer through them while playing Dead Ops Arcade the other day. Yeah, I mean, just listen to this shit. Man, that was fire. Drop that in S tier immediately. Joe, you're insane. Why would we want to listen to an 8-bit version of Coming Home when the real song is already in the map and it's not even that good to begin with? Barack, lump all of these in F tier so we can move on. With pleasure, Hill Dog. Oh, fuck. Next up is Carry On. And not the goaded Avenge Sevenfold song from the Black Ops 2 campaign, but the shitty transit one. Seriously, out of all the screw-ups Transit had, you think they'd at least get the Easter egg song right. How dare you? You fools don't know a masterpiece when you see it. Transit and Carrion are both goaded. Take back what you said or face my wrath! Calm down, Donald. Do you really want to kill us over not liking an objectively bad map and song? Of course I do, Tower Toppler. You fools are lucky my hands are tied down on Earth dealing with even bigger idiots than you fools. Well, whoever they are, thank God they're buying us time. For now, let's listen to this uh, Obama nation of a song. Huh. See what I did there? Haha, uh -huh, very funny. Just play the damn song, Barry. Sweet Mother Mary above, that was horrible the awesome power of transit. Put it in S tier this second. Nah, we're good. I think F tier will suffice. I agree with Hillary, actually. This song is awful. No! Sorry, Don. Anyways, next up is the loading screen music from Moon on Nuketown Zombies. Please tell me we don't have to listen to this shit, Obama. This is not a song to kill zombies to. They just wanted to really hammer in the idea that Nuketown and Moon take place at the same time. Don't worry, I won't subject us to that waste of time. Easy F tier. But it's Samantha's lullaby, and it reminds me of my cute little Sammy Whammy. Creepy Joe. Joe, please don't go dark Brandon mode on us right now. Oh, uh, sorry. Now here is a good song, We All Fall Down from Die Rise. Why am I not surprised this map is your favorite, George? Makes sense why you were always messaging me, asking to play this map? Oh, George told us he just wanted to smash Hillary. What? Shut up, Joe. Uh, even if that were true, I definitely wouldn't want to now, you vile woman. I don't like the mental images I'm getting in my head right now. Just gonna play the song. So good. That's kind of an exaggeration, George. It's not that good. Reminds me of the time Donnie trolled me and made me fall down off the map on Die Rise. I don't like it. 
I mean, the song is definitely a big step up from Transits. I was thinking C tier. Nah, it's definitely an S tier. S tier? Are you crazy, George? Let me guess, you think your presidency was an S tier too? It was. I had over 90% approval ratings. Yeah, right after 9-11, you left office in the 20% range. Well, you must be doing a 20% approval rating speed run because we're not even four years into your presidency and you're almost there. Boys, enough. Let's just put it at B tier and move on. You're right. Sorry, Joe. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry too, George. You're a good friend. Okay, guys, don't get too mushy yet. We're about to listen to a real emotional song. Where are we going? Ooh, I love this one. I ask myself that same question every time I give a speech, and my staffers have to lead me off stage. Not sure if I'd be telling people that, Joe. Now that is an easy S tier. Agreed. Perfect song for a perfect map. No further discussion needed. And now we have Mob's second song, Rusty Cage by Johnny Dollar. Johnny Dollar? Joe, it's Johnny Cash. Oh, my bad. It's a pretty awesome song. Makes sense for the map, too. Breaking free from the cycle and whatnot. I'd say it's a solid A tier. Well, I never liked that country stuff, but Johnny Cash hits different, especially on this map. Sounds like we're in agreement. A tier it is, then. Always running from buried is next. Starts slow, but really picks up into a pretty epic song. Let's give it a listen. That was pretty good. Yeah, not one of my favorites personally, but not bad either. I'd put it in B. Once again, you fools have an L take. Always running is boring and belongs in F tier. Gonna have to disagree with you there, oh great and powerful orange. Always running is great and belongs in A tier. Well, we're all over the place on this one. I personally think it's kind of mid, so how about we compromise at B tier? Okay, sounds good. Next is Archangel from Origins, an absolute banger song. Damn right. I mean, this song brought in Elena Siegman, Maluka, and Clark S. Nova, all for one song. There's no way anyone objects to this song being S tier, right? Nope, I like this one a lot. Let's give it a quick listen. I mean, this has to be a contender for best Easter egg song of all time. It's metal as fuck. I agree. I think this is what an Easter egg song should be. Heavy, amazing lyrics and badass as hell to kill zombies too. This belongs at the top. If you don't agree, then you can kiss my black ass. Well, we go from one badass origin song to another. You cannot tell me that the origins intro cutscene is not the best of all time with Shepherd of Fire blasting in the background. Never listen to it. I always use the time that the intro is playing to get a quick nap in. Joe, you are dead to me. Are you insane, Sleepy Joe? I should destroy you here and now. I honestly wouldn't blame you, Donald. How can you sleep during the Origins intro? I'm sorry, guys. Jeez. I'll listen to it when I get the chance. You better. Till then, you'll have to take our word that it's an S tier. But wait, it's an Easter egg song, too? I didn't know you could activate it in-game. Come on, George, I'd expect a presidential zomboy to know his stuff. There are three red radios around the map that will play the song when you interact with them. Yep, she's right. Anyways, let's drop this in S tier. Next is Ether. What song is this one again? I have no clue. Let me look it up. I don't think I've ever heard this in game. You morons! This is the Easter egg song you get for activating the numbers 115 on the generators on Origins. Oh yeah. Well, it was just another boring instrumental track. I kind of liked it. It was at least unique and sounded mystical. Totally fits Origins. Can we at least put it in D tier? If it means we can move on from it, then I won't object. Okay then, next up is Remember Forever. This song was exclusive to the Zombies Chronicles version of Origins. I remember it being really good, but haven't listened to it in a minute. That 
That was beautiful. Makes me think of poor Samantha. I really hope she's okay out there. Yeah. I remember when the Zombies Chronicles trailer with this song dropped. Those were the days. What I wouldn't give to go back to the summer of 2017. Yeah, back when I was president. That part I think we can do without. So, can we agree this is another S tier? I mean, it sure did conjure up a lot of feelings and good memories for us. Absolutely. Drop that shit in S like people dropped from planes during my Afghanistan withdrawal. Next is snakeskin boots from Shadows of Evil. Playing it. Man, this brings me back to the 1920s. Of course, back then, jazz was the big thing and Calvin Coolidge was president. Maybe he could have been a presidential zomboy. Well, Silent Cal would probably be a big improvement over Trump's constant bitching. I also remember when me, my pop, and my brothers ran a shoe shining business. Uh, it was hard, but it beat working in the factories. Of course, then the Irish War of Independence began. And I, at the ripe young age of something or the other, went off to fight for my heritage. I'll never forget when my commanding officer, Lieutenant Seamus O'Flannery, died in my arms during the Potato Field Massacre. And when I came home from the war, I joined Al Capone's gang and fought against prohibition. Uh, the federal government was not going to stop me from drinking my apple juice without a fight. Eventually, of course, we won. The rest is history. Uh, Joe, just how old are you? About as old as the wheel. I remember when those first hit store shelves. Moving on, snakeskin boots, another certified banger. Am I right? Well, I've grown tired of jazz ever since Bill started taking up the saxophone. So it's not really my favorite. I'd put it in D tier. But Hillary, you told me you love my saxophone playing. Oh shit, I didn't know you were listening. Sorry, Bill. Well, your opinion is trash and disregarded anyways, Hillary. I say we put this in S tier too. Fine with me. Now the second song of Shadows, Cold Hard Cash. Let's give it a listen. That was pretty boring, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it was a decent song on its own, but doesn't fit zombies at all. I'd personally put it in like C tier. I think that's the smartest thing you've said, Killary. The song is boring as sin, and I never go out of the way to activate it when I play Shadows of Evil. Well, I'm not arguing with you two. We can put it in C. Next is the Giants version of Beauty of Annihilation. But I mean, it's good, but misses what made the original so badass. I kind of like it. The original is too loud. My hearing is already going out. I don't need it to any faster. Really sleepy? You'd prefer this boring baby version to the badass metal version? Sad! Donald has a point. This version is kind of lame. I get what they were going for. But still, I'd put it in like C tier. C is just a little too low. I mean, it is still Beauty of Annihilation. How about B tier? I agree with Barack. The song itself is still good, just in a new way. Thanks, Georgie. I knew you'd have my back, unlike a certain vice president. Next up is Dead Again from Dara Eisendrock. I sure hope I don't end up dead again anytime soon. You probably will, you fucking zombie. Even if Dark Brandon couldn't finish the job, time will eventually catch up to you. <clears throat> Gentlemen, we have a song to rank here. Just ignore Trump. Now play the song, Barry. I swear to God, Joe, if you say this song is bad, I will destroy you here and now. No, I like this song. It reminds me of the good old days of Der Eisendrake. Joe, you weren't even playing zombies then. You started with Cold War. I think I'm gonna puke. This noob started with Cold Snore Zombies? Massive L. Why does it matter when I started as long as I'm a Zombies fan now? Plus, I think the song is an S tier. Yeah, leave him alone. Joe is a great Zombies player now and an even better friend. 
Glad to have him as a presidential zomboy. And yes, dead again is an S tier. I'm sure we can all agree on that, right? Mm-hmm, for sure. Won't argue with that goaded song for a goaded map. Okay, now what the fuck is this? Since when did DE have two songs? Oh, I love this one. Uh, this plays when you interact with three gramophones on the map. I'll look it up for you. You guys got to hear this. What the fuck was that? Yeah, that shit sounds like it came out the year Joe was born. That sounds like some music the Nazis would march to or something. You like that shit, Joe? Damn right I do. That's Mozart, you uncultured fools. I saw him perform in person as a child. Oh, what a magical performance. Best show I ever went to. Right after that Travis Scott show I went to a few years back. Okay, then. Barry, put Mozart here in F, please. Next is Dead Flowers from Zetsubu no Shima. Playing it. So I I like this one. I don't think it's the most memorable Easter egg song or anything, but it does slap. I could see it being in B tier. Uh, I'm not a fan, really. It just doesn't work for me. It's like a D for me. Really, Barack? I love it. The vocals are haunting. And not in a scary ghost that won't leave me alone every night I try and sleep kind of way, but a beautiful way. Yeah, this is a bigger L from you than Obamacare. This song rocks. I'm thinking A tier. Am I the only one with working ears here? I mean, you do have big ears, Obama. But either way, you're outnumbered. I think B tier is a perfect compromise. Whatever. Next is Samantha's Lullaby again. I forgot there was even a remix of this song on Zetsubu. Yeah, same here. Well, I guess we can give it a quick listen. Yep, just as boring as I thought it'd be. Put it in F tier. Next is the song from Garage Groovy, right? Uh, it's Gord Crovey Joe. That's what I said. Whatever. Let's just give Dead Ended a listen. This song is pretty epic. A huge step up for Clark from Carry On and We All Fall Down. Damn, I didn't know Goofy Movie had a banger song like that. I just remember Ace of Spades. Well, it does. And Joe, it's Gorad Crovey, not Goofy Movie. Well, Joe's annex aside, we all know I hate this map, but the song is pretty good. I'd be comfortable putting it in A tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's settled then. It's going in A tier. Next is Ace of Spades by Motorhead. This song was awesome. I remember loading up Jenkins Jinkies for the first time and hearing Lemmy's iconic voice while watching Ultimus Nikolai fight a fucking dragon. Joe, how, how hard is it to just say, Gorod Crovey? Still, the song is badass as hell. What are we thinking, boys? Want to give it an S tier in Lemmy's honor? Let's do it. For Lemmy. Well, to end off Black Ops 3, we have The Gift from Revelations. Let's hear it. Damn, that shit goes hard. Kevin Sherwood's music really is a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, for real. They really didn't have to give us such amazing songs with every map, but they did. That's what makes Zombies so special compared to other games. This shit is another undeniable S tier. Kevin just never misses. Factual, my African brother, the chorus is just so good and catchy. Fits the ending of Black Ops 3 perfectly. Joe, never call me your African brother again. But you're right. This song is another classic. S tier all the way. You idiots are doing well so far. This tier list isn't total trash. Keep it up if you value your miserable lives. Ooh, next is my favorite Easter egg song from one of my favorite maps. Well, Joe is right about something for once. This new version of Where Are We Going is the one thing blood does better than mob. Yeah, let's hear this masterpiece real quick. I don't think 
think anyone is in disagreement that this is an S tier. One of the best Easter egg songs ever. Damn right. Glad we're all on the same page. Next is Shockwave from Classified. Play it, Obama. This one isn't really one of my favorites, to be honest. Yeah, it's not horrible, but I wouldn't call it a classic or anything. So where are we thinking, boys? To me, it's like a B tier. Really, you think so? I was leaning more towards, like, C. Yeah, I'm with Barack here. This one is just kind of forgettable, much like classified as a map. I think y'all are just hating because you don't like BO4, but okay. Next is a, the intro music from Classified. I totally forgot you could activate that in-game. Do we really have to listen to it? We all know how it goes. I mean, I liked it. It has a sort of cowboy bebop feel to it, which of course makes it an S tier, even if it is just an instrumental track. Wow, that was rather well thought out, Joe. But since you compared it to a nerd anime, it must be F tier. Damn, George, who's the real bully here? You or Donald? Just calling it how it is. Well, I bet there's a much cooler version of you in the multiverse who likes all that nerdy stuff. Barack, please put it in D tier. Okay, I want to move on. Drowning from Voyage of Despair is next. F tier, fuck this song and fuck this map. Geez, Donald, I know you're all corrupted by the ether and shit, but you really hate it that much? Damn right I do. This song and this map as a whole shouldn't exist. Well, let's at least give it a fair listen, you tyrannical tangerine. How can any of you sit there and tell me that wasn't awesome? Like this. It wasn't awesome. I kind of like it. I put it in B tier myself. Uh, fits the map perfectly, even if nobody wants to play Voyage. Yeah, Donald, hold this L. It's going in B tier. No! Well, next is one I know me and Donald both love. Mad Hatter by Avenged Sevenfold. Are they like your favorite band or something? Damn right they are. I'm a black metalhead all the way. Well, Mad Hatter is good, but I don't personally like it as much as their other COD songs. Gotta agree with George on this one. Not as iconic as Not Ready to Die or Shepherd of Fire. Well, that's just blasphemous. Where would you propose we put it then? A B tier? Sleepy, creepy, sloppy Joe, you imbecile. No avenged sevenfold song belongs anywhere below S tier, let alone B. I missed the part where that's my problem. Back me up here, guys. Yeah, this one just isn't as memorable. B tier is a good spot. Well, it pains me to do it, but okay. Well, next is the IX intro music. Did you just say IX? It's Roman numerals, Joe. It's nine. They literally just discovered that you could even activate this song last year. I wonder how many other Easter eggs are left unsolved. Either way, who cares about this? I don't want to hear some crappy intro music. Throw it in F. As you wish. Next is Mystery from Dead of the Night, Elena Siegman's final zombie song. And what a shame her last song had to be on such a dog shit map. It's not that bad. Besides, we're here to talk about the music. I think this one is pretty solid. Joe, that's because your whole life is a mystery. Like, it's a mystery how you got elected president. Damn, Obama. Just kidding, Joe. You know I love you. I was about to start crying, Barry. Geez, grow up here. Can we just hear the damn song? Pretty damn good. That's a catchy chorus. Right? This is one of her best, in my opinion. It's an S tier for me. I do like that part in the bridge where it references her previous song, The One. I like when they do callbacks to older songs. True, but is this really an S tier, though? I could see it being A, sure. Good point, Killary. It's catchy, but not nearly as memorable or iconic as previous songs. I think A is perfect. <laughs> Agreed. Sorry, Joe. Dead of the night stays losing. Next is Stormbound from Ancient Evil. Let's listen. Well, all that did was give me a damn headache. We know, Joe, the heaviest music you can handle is like Sheryl Crow or something. I mean, I'm with Joe. This song is pretty mid. Yeah, it's like C tier at best, not Kevin's best work. You guys are a bunch of pussies. This shit rocks. 
whatever. The song from Alpha Omega, though, I will agree is mid AF. Yeah, not a fan of that one at all. Yeah, I like this song about as much as I like Alpha Omega, which is to say, not at fucking all. Y'all are all just B.O. four haters, I swear. Please, Barry, don't put it in F tier. It's at least a D tier. Well, just so your opinion actually means something. Sure thing, Joe. Now onto the first of two instrumental tracks on Tag Dear Toten. What a disappointing way to end the ether story. Too true, Hillary. Definitely not the great war we deserved. I mean, even if it's just instrumental, it does invoke some sort of feelings out of me. I don't think it belongs in F tier. Agreed. I mean, the part that plays during the last step of the Easter egg goes hard. You fools are really gonna put this crap over Transit's Easter egg song? How dare you? Cry about it, Donald. It's not that bad. Just could have been better. How about C tier? Sounds good to me. Next is Reflections. This plays when you interact with the closet that Ultimus was trapped in. You mean the closet that we were trapped in? Yeah, I will never forget being cramped in there with you guys. Thanks, Hillary. Anyways, let's listen to this shit. Well, I don't think I'd ever heard that before, and honestly, I don't feel better having heard it. It's boring. Agreed, no point debating it. It's just another lame, hidden instrumental track. Dropping it in F, just like how Joe dropped a drone strike on that dad getting water bottles for his family in the Middle East. Well, we made it, boys uh, and woman. The Last Good Zombies song, Alone by Clark S. Nova. Yeah, this one was a banger and started Cold War off strong. Then it was all downhill. Let's listen. So fucking goaded. Yeah, they really dropped one of the best Easter egg songs ever, and then dipped. Well, we all agree this belongs in S tier. Easily Clark's best song. Ooh, and next is Lost from Firebase Z, sung by the voice actress of Samantha. Don't hype it up, Joe. This song is boring as hell. Just listen. My Samantha has such a good singing voice. That is a load of cap, Joe. This is probably the worst Easter egg song I've ever heard. What? No. They're right. This shit is not good for killing zombies, too, and belongs on Firebase Z, a map that will be forgotten to time. Damn you all. Lost is good. Nope. Sorry, Joe. But not really, though. Next is Maurer's Easter egg song, which is Amoeba by the band Adolescents. It makes no sense why they included this random song and not a real song made for zombies. What a massive L. Let her cook. Okay, I'll give you that one. I'd rather have no Easter egg song than this. Put it in F so we can stop talking about it. Gladly. And to finish off Cold War's miserable streak of Easter egg songs, we have another version of Samantha's theme. Definitely gave off some buried vibes. Yeah, probably the best remix of Samantha's Lullaby, and hearing it in Cold War was a nice surprise, but it is by no means a substitute for an actual Easter egg song. I agree. How do we feel about D tier? This shit should be S tier. Nah, man, D tier it goes. We're done now, right? Not quite. We gotta get through the non Treyarch games, too. Bro, I didn't even know those had Easter egg songs. Well, from what I remember, most of them are trash. You'd be right. I mean, we're not going to listen to every Exo Zombie song, but take a listen to this one. Yeah. 
Bruh, isn't that the song from that Blue Lobster meme? No way, this is a real Easter egg song. Yeah, that was Toccata and Fugue in D minor from Infection. Every exo zombies map has a classic music piece. And before you get too excited, Joe, he said in D minor, not a D in a minor. Damn you. My friend Donald would never say such hurtful things. I want my old buddy back. Patience. My plan is underway as we speak. Just remain calm. I hope so, Bill. All right, enough with the doom and gloom. Can we put these classical music songs in F tier, please? Yeah, let's move on. So these two zombies in Spaceland Easter egg songs aren't impressive. They're remixes of the MW1 and 2 main themes. The worst part of it, though, is actually getting the songs to play. You have to shoot a bunch of teddy bears that have like 100 fucking spawns. And some of them are super hard to actually see. What were they thinking? Well, based on that description alone, I say we put them in F tier. I agree. No point listening to a couple songs that are lame and we have no chance of ever hearing in game. Okay, well, next is Puppet Strings from Rave in the Redwoods. I've heard good things about it, but never listened to it. Well, this will be a first for all of us, I imagine. Well, for a non-Treyarch song, that wasn't half bad. That's exactly the kind of music Hunter listens to at those furry raves he goes to. I don't like it, F tier. You need to get your son in line, Joe, before he gets both of you in trouble. But uh, I'd say Puppet Strings is a solid B tier song. I was thinking the same thing. Color me surprised. Next is Cats on the Boulevard from Shaolin Shithole. I mean, Shuffle. That was something. Interesting, but not really good or anything. I'd, I'd give it a D for effort. Yeah, I'm on the same page. Are you kidding? That was incredible. Brock, if you didn't like that song, then you ain't black. Joe, you racist old cracker. You can't say something like that in 2023. Just for that, it's getting bumped down to F tier. OK, well, looks like for the next song, it's Brach, you're a boogie from Attack of the Radioactive Thing. I have no idea what that even means. Me either, Joe. Let's just listen to it. The creatures approached with claws held high and said, Idiot, why did we find you with God? I dropped my surfboard and ran What in the dollar store monster mash fuck did I just listen to? Joe, please don't tell us you liked whatever that was supposed to be. I mean, the surf rock vibes I can vibe with reminded me of my lifeguard days. Joe, first off, you were a lifeguard at a community pool, not the beach. You know nothing about surfing. Secondly, this song is dog shit. Geez, tell him how you really feel. I don't care what Joe has to say. This is F tier. I never even said I liked the song, for the record. Yeah, but knowing you, it'll be your new ringtone. We finally made it the final song. And what a banger it is. This song goes way harder than it needs to. Play that shit now, Abunga. OK, this has been DJ Barry. Signing off with Scattered Lies. Damn, that was awesome. Yeah, what the hell? Why couldn't every IW song be like that? I think it earned its place in S tier. Glad we can all agree on the final song. Bravo, Lee Ross. And that wraps things up. Not a bad tier list by any means, and a good time killer while we wait here for things to be resolved. Yeah, I had fun, even if you all shit on most of my opinions. Well, back to waiting around. I hope Bill knows what he's doing. <laughs>